everyone welcome to smart math online tutor through this video i am going to tell you about scale diagrams already in previous grades you have learned how to draw scale diagrams how to decide scales and so on in this grade we are going to look into angle of elevation and angle of depression first of all let us see what is the angle of elevation an angle of elevation is defined as the angle formed between the line of vision and the eye level when the observer is looking at an angle above the eye level. So it is something like this. When you see something above your eye level, this angle at which you turn your eye from the eye level to the object is called the angle of elevation. So here, this is how you name the lines here. You have the eye level angle line of vision and the angle of elevation is this and then let's move on to the next angle that is angle of depression now if angle of elevation is something above the eye level remember angle of depression is something below the eye level now here this diagram shows how the angle of depression forms when you see something below the eye level so you have to remember what is angle of elevation and what is angle of depression to work out sums in this section. Fine, now let us see how to draw a scale diagram or what are the things you should know prior to draw a scale diagram. There are some steps you should follow in order to draw a perfect scale diagram. Let us see what are these steps. The first step is to draw a sketch of the diagram you are going to draw. So this is a very important step so that you can plan the way to draw the scale diagram in your paper. And the second step is to look at the measurements and decide a suitable scale. This is also a very important part. You have to look at the measurements carefully and you have to think of a very suitable scale. And then the third step is to draw the scale diagram with the relevant measurements using your straight edge and the protractor according to the scale you decided and the final step is that you have to write the scale of the diagram that is you have to mention the scale as a ratio you have learnt it in smaller grades in your scale diagram right now let us see how to draw a scale diagram through an example here is an example and is standing at a distance of 5 meters away from goalpost P she can see the top of the post at an angle of elevation of 25 degrees and the base of the post is seen at an angle of depression of 15 degrees. So what are we going to do here is to find the height of the goal post. First of all, just like the first step we discussed before, we have to draw a sketch. So let me mark a point A, this is where Anne is standing. And let me mark a point P, this is where the goal post is situated. So, according to the description, the distance between these two points is 5 meters. Fine. Now, I draw the goal post like this and I, let me mark the top as Q. So, PQ is our goal post. And let me mark AND like this with the line. And this AB line shows AND. Now, AND's eye level is marked like this. This is AND's eye level. I have marked a horizontal line parallel to the ground you know eye level always will be parallel to the ground right and then now according to this description i'm going to mark the angle of elevation that is from uh, the eye level when she looks at the top of the post this angle is marked as 25 degrees and similarly when she is looking down at the base it is 15 degrees so i have marked this details like this now you have to understand this 15 degrees or this angle of depression this angle and this angle are alternate angles because this eye level is parallel to the ground i can mark it like this since these two lines are parallel you should remember these two angles are alternative therefore i can mark 15 degrees at this point as well this is important to draw the scale diagram right now let's start drawing so this is our sketch let's start to draw before drawing 
another thing is there we have to decide the scale so let us decide the scale now here the only length available is 5 meters so to represent 5 meters if i take 1 centimeter represents 1 meter my diagram will be very small because to represent 5 meters i have to draw a line of 5 centimeters then the diagram will be very small so in order to make it a somewhat larger diagram i take 1 meter is represented by 2 centimeters so then to represent 5 meters i have to draw a line of 10 centimeters now if so what is the scale 2 centimeters is representing 1 meter that is equal to 100 centimeters so i can write the scale as 2 is to 100 that is when simplified 1 is to 50 so this is my scale this tells 1 centimeter represents 50 centimeters right fine now let's start drawing let me take the ruler and we have to draw a line of 10 centimeters so i draw it like this and name the two points as a and p and the gap is 5 cent 5 meters right this is the length between a and p right then i draw two lines like this two vertical lines to mark the point where and is standing or and's height and the goal post so from p i measure 15 degrees like this and this is where and's eye level is so i name that point as b 15 degrees and b here along b i draw a line parallel to ap that is to show and's eye level from here i again take my protractor keep it like that and measure an angle of 25 degrees and mark the point Q like this. Now here I have drawn my scale diagram. Now according to this scale diagram, our question is to find out the height of the goal post. So let me take the ruler and keep it like this. Now you can see the goal post is the length from P to Q is 7.4 centimeters. So, 7.4 centimeters is the height of this goal post according to our scale diagram. So, from this we are going to find out the actual height of the goal post. Now, you know 2 centimeters is representing 1 meter. Then, 7.4 centimeter will represent that divided by 2. Hurry, that divided by 2. So, that the answer will be the height of the post is 3.7 meters so here is the answer or here is the height of the post that we have taken from the scale diagram v drip right so hope you understood how to use the angle of elevation and angle of depression in scale diagrams see you with another smart method until then goodbye